Boogie Ellis rescues USC basketball with a hoop at 0.2 seconds to go to stave off upset-minded Washington State University. I'm James, and this is your daily dose of sports and snark for Southern California. Welcome to the February 21st edition of Faithful Angelino Sports. Well, the final score uh, Sunday night was USC 62, Washington State 60. We'll get to more of that in a moment. Just to let you know, I will be uh, not... Uh, recording until Tuesday. Uh, I will be flying out to Des Moines, Iowa, where I will be subsequently sitting in a pool of my own tears for the week while I work. I'll be recording out there as well, keeping up to date on everything going on down here. Before we get to the news, I would like to start off with a blatant lie. This episode is brought to you by Zyaflex. Now, for those of you who don't know, Zyaflex is for a uniquely male problem. Uh, not that problem, uh, a different one. If you want to get an idea of what type of the problem it is, uh, you can find out more information about the fine folks at Zyaflex at bentcarrot.com. Bentcarrot.com. If you haven't figured it out yet, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if your lovemaking is preceded by the words, release the Kraken tentacle, if your woman feels intimidated because it looks like the square root sign, or maybe something for the trash compactor and the Death Star is at Star Wars, bentcarrot.com. You can thank me later, but I'd rather you not. Um, and for the record, I don't have to worry about that particular problem. Uh, my wife really loves my lowercase r. But now to the news. Now, former Rucker Park hoop legend turned Super Bowl champion Eric Weddle leaves the rough streets of Harlem hoops and now will become the head coach of Rancho Bernardo High School football in San Diego. Actually, a lot of people like Eric Weddle for good reason. Uh, he was drafted by the Chargers, spent eight years with them, a six-time pro bowler. Uh, then he left. He went to, to the, uh, Baltimore for a while, uh, then, of course, retired, came back to the Rams for the Super Bowl, and he wanted to go back to his roots of losing. Welcome back to San Diego. Secondly, and I, I really feel compelled to talk about this, there was a big issue in the uh, college basketball world today, um, you might have heard about it. Uh, there was a fracas at the end of the game between Michigan and Wisconsin. Uh, former uh, Michigan legend turned coach uh, Jawan Howard uh, struck uh, an assistant coach after the game during a little bit of a little bit of a brouhaha. And um, I'm, I must tell you, I'm I'm actually uh, disappointed. Uh, very much so, actually. I, I'm disappointed. Because Juwan Howard can't throw a punch to save his life. Okay, if you're going to do it, I mean, go for it. I mean, you you didn't even throw a punch. You hit, And you hit the wrong dude. Kermit Washington is like, dude, you screwed up, bruh. You, you need some help here. I mean, hit the right man, right? And secondly, you didn't even use it. You didn't even mean it. You just slapped at him. I mean, I know this, what I'm about to say, isn't my original material. It's uh, uh, from the late, great Charlie Murphy. You don't slap a man, okay? You don't do that. It's not manly. If you slap a man, the only way to make it manly is pistols at dawn. It's got to be a gunfight. They always say the people in the Midwest are tough. I'm really starting to question that right now. Well, what can I tell you, though, about tonight over at SC? Well, USC tonight improved to 23-4 and four overall, 12-4 uh, and four in Pac-12 conference play. They are in second place behind Arizona. Now, we don't, I'm going to be honest with you, some of this stuff could come from a standpoint of ignorance. I've only seen USC play about four or five times. I'm by no means an expert, and I don't want to claim to be. So what I've done is I've uh, did, did a little bit of studying up before the game. USC, uh, this is their best year so far since the early 1970s. 
And right now, as it stands, they may very well be a steady sixth seed, according to those nerds who try to make the brackets way before uh, it's time for March Madness. They're currently, in most of them, somewhere like sixth or seventh. Maybe they play Iowa. Maybe they play Rutgers. Maybe Loyola of Chicago. And maybe I lie to you and claim that I know or give a shit about any of these teams. Having said that, what I can tell you, uh, a coach was asked to speak without his uh, unattributed, without his name, uh, uh, and talk about USC basketball. And his assessment of them pretty much held true with tonight's game. Uh, they're big, but they don't utilize their length. And they're extremely streaky. Uh, they're jump shooters, they're slashers, and you can take advantage of that. And that is exactly what the Cougars did tonight. Uh, the Cougars sank 15 three-point field goals uh, to basically take a lead as big. That was as big as eight points with about nine and a half minutes to go before USC rallied. So USC, because they rely on the outside shot so much, they're streaky because they're big, but they choose not to post up. They're still just chucking threes all over the place. Sometimes they sink, other times they don't. And that could prove to be a real problem. You see, last year's USC team, as we all know, they, they advanced pretty far. I think they were Elite Eight and before they got eliminated and, and whatnot. The problem that USC is going to face is Washington State is not talent-wise near on their level, but they can't defend the three. USC is number two overall on defense in the Pac-10, but they are dead last, buck naked last, when it comes to defending the three. So if they, in the first round or two of the playoffs, uh, if they wind up meeting a hot shooting uh, team from three-point land, they're out, despite the talent, despite all the work. So that when you look at USC, because of the fact that the record is good, because of the fact that, that they can play some defense and can score, you want to like them, but you just can't envision them guaranteeing them making a deep run in the NCAA tournament. You can see them possibly getting the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, maybe, but you don't see them as a real threat, despite the fact that the Pac-10 is a pretty decent conference. So here's what I like about him. Um, I do like Isaiah Mobley, the younger brother of Evan. Evan, as we all know, went to the NBA and is uh, languishing in Cleveland. Uh, Isaiah, uh, good passing vision, but again, no post game, and he's a big. That's a real problem. Um, in tonight's game, uh, Ellis, who sank the game winning shot, had a team high 21 points. Uh, there was also uh, another uh, guy, uh, Peterson. Uh, Peterson went bananas when they beat UCLA earlier this year. He also added 17 points tonight. So, USC, I'd love to be able to sit there and because I like the Trojans, okay? I grew up watching USC football, and when you're a little kid, you don't really get the difference between why can't my school that I root for be good in all of the sports. USC has been terrible at basketball for most of my life, but now they're competent and there's just no reason for you to take a drive up to Vegas and drop a lot of money on them. Uh, I actually would put more faith in UCLA, their rivals. Now, again, at this moment, it's obvious uh, UCLA, uh, UCLA is behind USC in the rankings and in the standings. Uh, having said that, what does tend to work for uh, teams when they do, when they do reach the uh, playoffs, is if they get the so-called hot hand, well, that hot hand can run. I mean, it's it's been known to happen, and USC has arguably the uh, best player in the Pac-12, and I'm trying to remember his name because I don't watch a whole heck of a lot of college basketball. But he is actually a terrific player. He's got a name I can't pronounce. I'd probably have to go to Google Translate to figure it out anyway. By the way, UCLA won yesterday as well. Trying to figure this out. Now, if I bonk on this poor gentleman's name, uh, I hope uh, he, I, I hope he doesn't, I hope he throws a better punch at me than Jawan Howard did. Johnny Jazang. And I have a sinking feeling I totally disrespected him when I just did that. But having said that, that's my thoughts on USC basketball. I'll be putting this up uh, sometime tomorrow when I'm probably going to be in a layover in Dallas. Hope you guys have a good week. You will hear from me.
on Tuesday. We'll talk about another chat, uh, something else in sports. We'll talk to you then. But until then, it's James. Have a good night. And again, bentcarrot.com.